Do you struggle to work out, go to the gym, be consistent with your training program, PT sessions, sports training, or even just going for a walk? So many people struggle with one of the most controllable factors of health, their fitness. Just like wealth, so many people are looking for the quickest fitness hacks, the two week drastic weight loss transformation that they overlook the most basic factors of health, which is their training. The definition of training is the action of undertaking a course of exercise and diet in preparation for a sporting event. Now, you don't necessarily have to be preparing for a sporting event, but what you will need is to have a strong foundation and a why if you must. In today's video, we're gonna cover the why. This includes why it's important to have one, common errors that people make, how to create your why, realistic goal setting, and motivation. What keeps me going? Before we kick off, like this video, share it with someone who knows, struggles to get into the gym, and subscribe for more videos. Number one, finding your why. I put this down as number one for a reason. You might know it as more as motivation, but motivation is just an asset created from a strong why. Your why is what gets you out of bed before work to walk the dogs. Your why is what gives you the motivation to drive to the gym after work instead of going through a McDonald's drive through Your why is going to push you harder than you have ever gone before because pursuing that reason to wake up every day and continuing to push yourself, regardless of circumstances, stress, work pressures, you are committed to doing that task no matter what. Common errors people make are having weak whys. Weak reasons to show up, to put in, or to stay consistent lead to procrastination, excuse making, poor reasoning, and peer pressure to do things you don't necessarily want to do. Common excuses I hear are, I don't have time to go to the gym. My children are more important than my health. I can't afford it. My genetics are shit. I have this injury from like 20 years ago. Lifting weights is unsafe. Instead, you need to simply ask yourself, how can I achieve? How can I achieve a 100 kilo squat, a sub six one mile, 15 push ups on my toes? What can I do? What can I do to lose five kilos, build muscle? become happier because it's these questions that will actually get you the answer you need asking yourself honestly being open-minded and willing to put aside time for your health is the first step into finding your why no excuse is strong enough to break your why no better option can possibly present itself and no obstacle will block the path because your why is firm. Now you may be asking, how exactly can you find your why? I'm no psychic, so I can't write it for you. But what I can do is guide you in the correct direction by using this template. I'm going to leave it in the description down below. Firstly, what is it you are looking to achieve? With this kind of aspiration, be direct, be ambitious, but also be realistic. Is there something or someone who has achieved something you would like to? This could be a strength related goal, like hit a 500 kilo powerlifting total, or an endurance related goal, completing a marathon. However, if you are looking at losing weight, don't demand 10 kilos in two weeks. Because this is not only unhealthy, but also counterproductive. Instead of setting a number, have an idea of an item of clothing you'd like to fit into, a level of confidence you want to display, a measurable variable you want to hit, like a better resting heart rate or lower blood pressure. These things will be far more rewarding long term than just losing, let's say, 10 kilos. Because that number legitimately means nothing. You could lose 10 kilos of weight, but still be upset with how you look. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't find your motivation from Instagram models, Facebook inspirations, or even your favorite athlete, because this is just demoralizing to your mental health. 
They are in the top 0.1% of the gene pool. You don't need to look like them. You need to look like the best version of yourself. Other good tips for looking better and ways to measure itself are, one, what your mirror reflection tells you. Two, measurements with a measuring tape. Three, using photos. Steer clear of the scale. It's also to measure your gravity, but it's also only necessary if you're about to fight someone in a boxing ring. It means nothing to anyone else but you, so don't stress. So we've covered exactly what the meaning behind finding your why is. We've also covered ways to create your own why. Finally, let's talk about motivation. Now, as mentioned, a strong why will provide you with all the motivation you need. However, I understand there are going to be tough days, obstacles, adversities, and injuries that will slow your progress down. It's all part of life. If you don't expect it to happen, you will be in for one mighty shock. So you may be asking, Tyler, how do I stay motivated even with all the odds stacked against you? Quotes, books, role models, and self-reflection are all imperative parts of allowing myself to stay motivated when I hit rock bottom. I have a range of quotes written on my phone, my laptop, and on my wall in my room that remind me of why I started this journey in the first place. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Confucius. This is a quote that I live by. After changing careers to my current job, I lost quite a lot of my strength. I used self-reflection as a tool to worry less about what I could do and worry more about what I am doing right now. The great thing about having a 200 kilo back squat is that it's living proof that I can do it. My goal now is to do it again. Some of my role models include people such as Jeff Nippard, Sebastian Oreb, James Smith, and even Brent Fikowski. I use their content, their journeys, and their mindset to keep me in the game even when things aren't going my way. The greatest asset we have is knowledge. Reading, listening to books or podcasts can help broaden our minds and allow us to have a different perspective on things we love. I love listening to things such as Chasing Excellence podcast by Ben Bergeron, reading Jocko Willicks, Ryan Holiday's, David Goggins and James Clear's books. These are the kind of things that keep me in the game when I hit the lowest point when I'm not too sure whether I should continue pursuing a goal that may seem a little bit out of reach. These people's quotes, their mindset and their way of life have influenced how I move into the future with a strong and concurrent why. That covers off this episode on why. If you have any questions about your why, or any questions on how to improve its motivation capabilities, leave it in the comment section down below. Or alternatively, you can message me on my Instagram, beginners to beast. Be sure to check out my website, absolutebeast.org for all the programs and all the content that you can see from my channel and my Instagram. Like this video if you found it helpful to your motivation cause and come back next time for more intuitive episodes on ways that you can improve yourself not only as an athlete but as a person as always you guys at home stay a beast